poet is never one of the people. He is detached, remote, and the life of small-time dancers and talk about football would not be for him. He might take part, but he would not belong. He wanted to get the airborne notes. It was something which was, I think, coming into poetry at that time. Uh, you find it in the later poems of Pasternak, where you're were able to look, uh, you're, you're able to look uh, straight through the poem into the life of the man, into and you get the flavour of his personality, as he says, says himself. Uh, he was he didn't want to work the persona, as the great Yeats had. He wanted something much more humble, and also more direct, almost like a prayer. The poems in Nimbus attracted considerable attention culminating in publication by Longman of his last and most popular collection, Come Dance with Kitty Stobling. Here, then, were the verses for which Patrick Kavanagh is best remembered, known forever, collectively, fondly, as the Canal Poems. Oh, commemorate me where there is water, canal water preferably, so stilly greeny at the heart of summer, Brother, commemorate me thus beautifully, whereby a loch niagarously roars the falls for those who sit in the tremendous silence of mid-July. It was about this spot here in 1955, after the lung cancer, when he was recuperating, that he was, he was resting, and he decided to set up what he called his, his grove here, beside the canal bank. And it was a magnificent summer. The summer of 1955 was one of those extraordinary long, hot summers we sometimes get in, 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 in Ireland, golden summers. Ironically enough, 1967, when he died, was a, was a similar summer. But he set up here and he, he was going to, going to celebrate just the, the simple and wonderful fact of being alive. Leafy with love banks and the green waters of the canal pouring redemption for me, that I do the will of God, wallow in the habitual, the banal, grow with nature again as before I grew. The bright stick trapped, the breeze adding a third party to the couple kissing on an old seat, and a bird gathering materials for the nest for the word, eloquently new and abandoned to its delirious beat. O oh, unworn world, enrapture me. Encapture me in a web of fabulous grass and eternal voices by a beach. Feed the gaping need of my senses. Give me ad lib to pray unselfconsciously with overflowing speech. For this soul needs to be honored with a new dress woven from green and blue things and arguments that cannot be proven. 